Now where we're going to get started is with our sauce. This has reduced from a boil and it's all kind of thickened up. So now we want to add our spices. We have half a teaspoon of cumin and one teaspoon of chili powder. This brings a lot of extra flavor to the dish and makes it a little bit more Tex-Mexy, if you will. So we want to stir that all together. So now we're going to mix together our vegetable mixture and our chicken. We have about three chicken breasts that have been shredded. Ooh. We're going to stir it around. You want to make sure that you're going to get a little bit of chicken and a little bit of veggie in every bite. Now we're going to start layering our casserole. You want to start off with a little bit of sauce in the bottom of the pan so the tortillas don't stick. We're just going to roll this around so, like I said, our tortillas don't stick to the bottom of the pan. I have about a dozen tortillas right here, corn tortillas. You're just going to layer them, about six per layer. We're only going to do two layers, so there's not too many corn tortillas in there. All right, now we're going to add <clears throat> about half of our chicken mixture to this. And we just spread it on out. And then about half of our sauce mixture. That was a little bit more than half, but that's all right. What the sauce is really going to help with um, in this casserole is it's going to help get our tortillas nice and soft. All right, so now we're going to add cheese. About a cup and a half to two cups of cheddar cheese. And you're just going to sprinkle that over half and half because we want to top the top of it off with cheese. And another layer of tortillas. Then the rest of our chicken mixture, just dump it on in there. You know, we like to get messy in the kitchen. And the rest of our sauce mixture. And of course, last but not least, cheese. Now we're going to bake this at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes until the cheese on top is melty. And I kind of got started a little early. So we're just going to go ahead and pull this one out. Oh, look at that. Look at all that cheese. It's all kind of burned a little around the edges. Good crispy edges, let me tell you that. So, get my plate. You just need a spatula. I'm going to cut down the middle of that. Now that's a really little piece. Trust me, I'm going to need a lot more than this. Mm. But it's delicious. Can't wait for you guys to taste it. Back to you. She didn't bring any back. The recipe <laughs> under the Good Day tab at myfoxlobic.com. We're coming right back.